This is News 4 In-Depth. I love to say that we are a community. San Antonio's biggest party of the year. Fiesta 2024 is grander than ever. Viva Fiesta! Viva Fiesta! Viva Fiesta! The medals, the floats, flowers and gowns. A celebration of San Antonio's rich and diverse cultures. It is why we put in all these hundreds of thousands of volunteer hours every year to make this happen for the community because we are so passionate about everybody coming together and having a good time. A tradition that brings together friends and family. My grandmother used to make the flowers here in this same room with those same tables. And I'm sure those are the same windows, the same paint on the wall, the same floor. News 4 goes in depth, Fiesta style. Yes, we do. Good evening and welcome to News 4 San Antonio in depth. I'm Robert Price. Mandy and Jonathan will join us in a few minutes as we dive into all things Fiesta, including your Fiesta forecast and today's top stories in the News 4 snapshot. First, though, a little Fiesta history. It all started way back in 1891 with just one parade to honor the memory of the heroes of the Alamo in the Battle of San Jacinto. That historic commemoration still takes place, but Fiesta has grown to be so much more. The parade the royalty, carnivals, countless festivals and parties that celebrate San Antonio's cultures and support local nonprofits. Hey, here's a bird's eye view of the Fiesta Carnival, aka Fiesta Fiesta, courtesy of your South Texas Ford dealers, Sky 4. You are looking live right now at all the fun going on in the Alamo Dome parking lot. All those fun rides, Ferris wheels, fun booths with carnival games and food. Great family events running throughout the duration of Fiesta, and the best part of all, it's free, no tickets needed. Just a little taste of the downtown festivities. Hey, how about a taste of the north side? Kicking off Fiesta with a lot of great food while also benefiting children in our community. News 4 San Antonio's Randy Noel and Jonathan Martinez joining us live from the Security Service Event Center. They've got their sashes on. Hey guys, looks like the fun is really getting started. <laughs> And the sashes are filling up here. Yeah, very quick. In fact, the doors just open here again. This event yes. is going to be benefiting the Bright Center. We've got food, we've got drinks, we've got area lists. So we got to be careful yes. not to get So, yeah, this is our friend Andrea. Take it away, girlfriend. So, we are out here. This, of course, benefits the Brighton Center. This is one of the super cool attractions that they've got here. She's out here doing her thing and out, out front of this kind of photo booth area, which is just such a neat thing for people to see. Uh, she was flipping around that oh, ring yeah. earlier. Uh, yeah. A lot of people stuff. coming over, giving us hugs, yeah. asking for medals, taking pictures. We're having pictures. a fun time. We're, We're seeing all time of our lives, friends yeah. and everything out here. And again, <laughs> the party is just getting started. So this is the place to be. We're going to be going all night again. The gates just opened a short while ago. I'm running a little low on medals, but I'm sure I can restock momentarily. Again, we're high-fiving, we're hugging. You can see all the folks that are walking in right now. Yeah. We'll be checking in with you in just a little bit. For now, though, we are reporting live for the Taste of the North Side. We'll send things back over to you. San Antonio police also getting ready for the party with a purpose. Officers will have eyes in the sky to keep everyone safe. Take a listen. We have drones cycling in and out, so we have constant view of the crowd. This is the fourth year SAPD is using drones at major Fiesta events. They say it's both more efficient and cheaper than using a helicopter. The department will cycle out drones throughout the area during these events to make sure there's always a drone keeping watch. We are giving you a behind the scenes look at everything that goes into making Fiesta oh so special. And of course, the centerpiece for many events is all the incredible floats. Volunteers have been hard at work putting the finishing touches on these floats. From colorful designs to special themes and a whole lot of flowers and glitter, these amazing floats are almost ready to be revealed. Organizers say all the hard work that goes into putting these floats together really pays off when everyone gets a chance to see them during Fiesta. It is why we put in all these hundreds of thousands of volunteer hours every year to make this happen for the community because we are so passionate about everybody coming together and having a good time. I mean, it, it, it just starts as a concept and then suddenly to kind of see it in this mid form and then once we get our flowers on it, that just changes everything. 
Several area high schools even have their own floats, each with a San Antonio theme. And for nearly 100 years, the same family has made the flowers that are featured on many of those floats. The Molina sisters were first hired by the Battle of Flowers Association back in 1926 to make the paper and foil flowers that give the floats their beautiful colors. The Ashley flowers. Casas These has taken over the, the family business and now runs made. the company called Our Mother's Flowers. The job of flower making starts in February, ends the first week of April. It's a full-time gig making 18,000 flowers for 22 floats. But this isn't a job. It's not even the family business. This is culture and heritage, the true meaning of Fiesta. My grandmother used to um, make the flowers here in this same room with those same tables. And I'm sure those are the same windows, the same paint on the wall, the same floor. It makes me feel like I have a legacy within me, like I have something to share, like I have something to build and give to not just my future children, but all the family around me. The work does not end when the parade does. This group gathers all the flowers afterwards for two reasons. They recycle the paper flowers and save and reuse all the foil ones. Fiesta would not be complete without those extravagant, intricate gowns worn by the women in the Order of the Alamo. And there's no larger collection of the gowns of the past than the Witty Museum. Each year, the Witty selects pieces from its massive collection that match the theme of the year. This year's dress exhibit theme is Fiesta Looks to the Skies. And owed to the eclipse. It takes months of planning, intense cleaning and preparation for these dresses, from the gown belonging to the Duchess of Fiery Festivals from the 1965 Court of Venice to the Duchess of Childhood Wisdom from the 1983 Court of Neverland. Each dress becomes part of a legacy. This exhibit at the Witty Museum is open through September 29th. Fiesta is not just a party for the people, it's also for the pets. El Rey Fido is an official Fiesta fundraising event. The Humane Society brought it to life 22 years ago. Animal owners sign up with their beloved dogs and vie to become the official dog king. This year's official El Rey Fido coronation is this Saturday at Hops and Hounds. You don't have to go to an event to embrace the Fiesta spirit. Metal collecting is a huge Fiesta tradition. The group Fiesta Metal Maniacs has been around for about a decade now. The co-founders tell us collecting metals has become a year-round effort for them. They work to help small businesses and nonprofits in San Antonio, especially during Fiesta. I love to say that um, we are um, a community. Um, we not only love the product, um, which is the Fiesta Metal. We want to see our nonprofits, our small businesses flourish. If we can do something as small as buy a $10 medal and help that nonprofit and help that small business, we're in. That's what we like. Oh, I get really happy. <laughs> like, Look at this medal. <laughs> I get really happy, especially if I find a hard to get one. <laughs> well, she goes on to say the year round work and the hundreds of dollars all worth it when she sees small businesses and nonprofits thriving. The crack of the bat, the roar of the crowd signal the return of baseball this month. Much the same way here in San Antonio, the crack of Cascarones signals the return of Fiesta. Fiesta supply stores like Amos say it takes months of planning to keep up with the demand for Cascarones this time of year. Most people opt for cartons of the ready-made variety shipped in from Mexico, but stores also offer bags of confetti for those who prefer to make the Cascarones themselves. A lot of old school um, like to do it themselves, but a lot of the newer generation would rather just buy them and have them already made because it's just, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Saving the shells, dyeing the shells, waiting for the shells to dry. Emil says it gets confetti egg orders from across the country, often shipping out bulk orders of 90 cartons to a box. San Antonians love to get dressed up and decorate for Fiesta. Amel's is a place they've been doing this shopping for 75 years. They have everything from flower crowns to piñatas, hats, wreaths, flowers, confetti, and more. The owner says it's an honor to serve the community for all these years, just as his grandfather did before him. For more about the history of Fiesta, the charities, where it all started, and where it's going next, you can check out our documentary, Viva Fiesta, the story beyond San Antonio's biggest party. Just scan that QR code right on your screen, and you can get the link and watch it on our YouTube page. We have been asking for what is your favorite Fiesta event. Here are the results of our interactive poll. I'm glancing at it now live and it says 28. Well, this is moving in real time. Wow, how cool. The parades in the lead, Niosa next, King William Fair, Oyster Bay, Taste of the North Side, Taste of New Orleans, 
all fantastic events, you can scan that QR code on your screen to share your favorite. And we will have your news headlines next in our News 4 Snapshot, much more ahead. As News 4 In-Depth on Fiesta continues, please stay with us. You're watching News 4 San Antonio. The crowd is building at one of Fiesta's premier events. Let's go back out to Mandy and Jonathan at Taste of the North Side. We're going to pivot over here. No, we're going to stay right here. There we go. Let's walk over here. <laughs> Mandy, Jonathan, how about that humidity? You enjoying some apple juice? What do you got there in your hands? It is a taste of the north side after all. One of my favorite restaurants through us, though, it's going to be one of the ones out of here. We've got corn, we've got you name it. She had jalapenos earlier, yeah? I did, and my <laughs> whole face blew up on fire. I was like, guys, help me. I need some water. Somebody help me. My goodness, there's so much to choose from, though. Yeah, lesson learned. Tell you what, take a look behind us here. This is what you can expect. The doors opened about 15 minutes or so ago. There's a couple of different parts to this. This is the outside part. As you mentioned, it is very humid outside. Nevertheless, a whole lot of fun. You've got all oh, kinds yeah. of restaurants, all kinds of bars set up and then over there you've got like a little uh, green area that's where we're going to the live entertainment's going to be a bit later you've got dueling pianos on the inside and a whole lot of fun i mean multiple stages multiple djs there are live bands out here we have the acrobatic who we introduced you to earlier andrea people are coming up they're staying high taking pictures we're exchanging medals it's everything that we wanted it to be we're having a lot of fun and you can see my forehead right now i am sweating because it is hot it is humid but it is on top of everything else a whole lot of fun we'll send it back over to you guys you guys look fantastic don't sweat it all right <laughs> nice very nice well done <laughs> too late we have never doubted our rain rock once we hang it we keep our fingers crossed as well. We have faith in the rain rock. It is a tradition going back decades. The folks at Niosa having taken the rain rock out of hibernation, hoping to ward off rain for the Fortnite Festival, a night in old San Antonio. The rain rock will be hung during a ceremony next Monday.